to this, our 19th fight of the evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your first fighter into the cage. From Harkin Harbor, Antonio Luca! More, I, I think he's been on every battle arena since we began. <laughs> the guy just fights all the time. Just, just loves it. Just loves I mean, fighting. He's in great shape. I've seen him walking around today. I think he's the most improved fighter we have on our whole show as well. The first yeah. few fights I called of his, I was like, oh, okay, he's okay. He's like well-rounded, but nothing, you know, doesn't stand out from the, the, the stable of fighters. Now, he's up there on the card. Massive improvement. Great striking. Yeah, great he's bouncing out. He's, he's got his own swagger, his own style now. And yeah. the thing is, he wasn't afraid to go in there and test his skills. He wasn't afraid to go in and risk it and lose and then come back better. There's no shame in Antonio Luca. Antonio Luca's been on the path the righteous path of martial arts for many years now and he's ready to, to realize that potential here at the featherweight division and we're going to need some featherweight champions coming up so he's going to try to put himself in that title race but he's going to have his hands full with Stan Mir Madrav from Kraken MMA in just a few moments he's getting his last few instructions he they pretty much had to had to hold him back from getting in the cage he's ready Loving he's it. excited Good opportunity to tell you that we're brought to you by A1 Fight Gear. Those gloves that you're going to see, the likes of Antonio, Luca, and Stan Mir wear, those are from A1 Fight Gear. Get yourself over to A1 Fight Gear and get yourself a pair. They look awesome. Old long body Luca, ready to go. Another representative of Kraken MMA. Yep. I haven't heard this song in a while, Steve. Not since the last battle arena. Not since probably the last fight. <laughs> a couple of fights ago, yeah. It's good. Although we've had very predictable, boring walkout music, it has been an incredible night of action here at Battle Arena. And that's what always matters. These guys come and they, they just throw down. And there's no there's no <laughs> there's no reservation. There's nobody trying to like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, play it safe. They all leave it out on the line. Steve, do you have people telling you when they realize that you're in this industry, they start telling you their walkout song, but they're not fighters? <laughs> it's like it's like I, it's like me explaining what I'm going to do when they win the lottery, but I've never bought a lottery ticket. It's like, yeah. You get people that are telling you. I, I do that. I don't buy lottery tickets, but I'll, like, I'll fantasize about it. <laughs> I, like to, I used to, you know what, that used to be like one of my chat-up lines for a girl. Like, hey, if you, if you could fight, what would be your... What would be your walkout song? That's a good chat line. That's a good chat line. It's a good chat line just to like to meeting people in in bars and stuff. You also ask, you know, like if you were in a, if they were gonna make a film of your life, who would play you? Blah blah blah. These are really good chat up lines, folks. <laughs> They're gonna make the film. You can hit me up. Interesting. If, for those of you playing Battle Arena Bingo right now, <laughs> or battle, sorry, Battle Arena Drinking Game, we should also re also reference that you should drink every time Chris belittles a fighter based upon their physique. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! No, it's all right. Long Bali Luca Long and Stan Mir <laughs> Oh, both of these guys are coming off big wins right now. Yeah, these are beasts. This is uh, this is the contenders fight. This is the contenders. It's got to be a title fight next for whoever wins this one. Stan Mir Madrav was really a oh, he had like a, a very good stand-up performance fight. last fight. I can't make a call here. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite often we've seen a lot of guys fight on this show, and when they fight three or four times, you know, we're unbiased as commentators. We we we, we could have a little guess of who we think is going to win, but this one could go either way. Fastest with the most is left hook there from Madrav. One two from Luca. Both boys stand Ooh. in pocket. Ooh, Ooh. Check hook. Stand has landed a couple of big ones. Yeah, he's going right down the pipe with that right hand, and now he Ooh. goes into the double leg. 
Well timed. Luca wraps up the head and tries to spall back very, very well. He's controlling the head in the middle of the body. He just got to keep on his feet so he doesn't get dragged over. The biggest improvement we've seen from uh, Luke, Antonio Luca is his wrestling, but Stanimir is a beast. It's going to be I hard to keep him off you. Yeah, that when somebody's committing 100% the way Stanimir was for that double leg, he even went around. Oh, <laughs> head stand guard pass. Got the against the cage too he was yeah. able to just bounce into the cage rather than get turned by Luca's I think he's looking for butterfly. a long clue he's getting the arm deep he's he wants it he might have it he's because good. he's got that arm trapped with his other hand this is really really hard position for Luca to be in is he looking for a long clue maybe oh not or now I'm trying to Luca's giving it up maybe yeah I'm trying to now or maybe just good old smash we see the middle of Smish. Standing in mid for the pressure. So good much top pressure control. here. Luca's got a good frame there with the forearm in front of the face now. Good basic <laughs> escapes that help. You see here, Steve, that Standing is right leg is sprawled out. If Antonio Luca did a basic jiu jitsu drop that right escape, yeah, he'd be able to shrimp his right knee inside, but he's just not doing it. Now it's going to be harder. Yeah. Now he's tighter. Now Standing is really tight in there and you got the cage he can land knees to the body just as like well that there. see there was oh, space there very strong from Antonio Luca he's doing really well try to get on top himself Stenemir fights in for an underhook again a little little gap here in, in Luca's training just doesn't have the, the head position under the chin he's not using all of his weapons to keep control here but he is in his corner, so he can receive any advice from his corner from that from that angle. Now he's down on the legs again. He's fighting for this takedown. I, be, I do feel like Madrov has just too much takedown defense and too much wrestling experience to get easily taken down. It's going to be a fight, whatever you want him. Ooh, the, the, the body. Middle. He's got the arms tied up. Stanley is very strong, but also very technical. Yeah, very technical, and he's got a great base. Now he's going to be in front. He can get a hip toss if he wants to drag him to the Ooh. mat. Luca Ooh. might give up his back here if he's not careful. Lovely. Big take down there from Stanimir Madrov. Make sure you win the round. Very good work from Stanimir. He hasn't really been able to do any damage though, Steve. Here's a big factor, though. Antonio Luca just spent the last minute trying to get a takedown of his own. Yep. And getting completely wiped off and now back on his back. And that's... If, if, even though you can tell the conditioning on both of these fighters is top notch it's going to be a bit disheartening to realize that you're wrestling against somebody that you can't out wrestle you're going to have to keep him off you it's going to be have, to have to be a huge adjustment in the corner of Antonio Luca before the second round because it yeah. looks like Stanimir is just completely happy to close the distance, body lock you and rip you to the ground yeah I mean the problem is you often find that if a fighter can win a round but it's not the most exciting way but they found your little weakness. You know, it's, it's logical to kind of rinse and repeat, you know, repeat, win the three rounds, get the win, even though it might not be that exciting. But I think with uh, Stanimir Madrov, we have a fight here that likes to get a finish. He likes to get that highlight reel ender of the fight. So I think he's going to look for a submission or some big strikes. And we saw that at the beginning of the round. He definitely wanted to land some big shots. But Antonio he did Luka. really well establishing pressure the whole time. Antonio Luca's not out of this. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Second frame of this three three round fight. Oh, Antonio's coming up strong. Stanimir, such big hands. Oh, right, right hand, hand got through. He's throwing a looping right hand. I want to see him mix that up with a straight right or a reverse punch. There we go. Luca Ooh. takes another one, staggers him. Oh, body. lovely left Ooh, shot. Comes to the body. Wow. This is nice. There's a lot. What did you hit him with? Is that a body shot? It did, Was did it he, a low shot? Did he... Or did he fake it? I thought maybe he got hit with a low shot. It's hard to sell, yeah, Steve. Oh. There you go. The pace of this fight is turned no matter what's happening. Did he get some damage caused? Antonio Luca doing really well here to stay on top. What a comeback. Great, great butterfly sweep there. Now he's on the neck. Oh, he just doesn't have the body position. To still using it to, to stay on top. Yep. 
There's a bit of a neck crank that he could have done there. Still standing here. Good guard recovery. He's looking for the arm. Got to swivel his hips get a little bit more in terms of the position there. Yeah. Standing here. Get the underhook. Try and get back up. Oh, beautiful. So strong. Standing here with drive. Oh, he's eating shots on the way up. Knee up the middle again. I'm still not what sure Adam. I think it back. was a groin shot. Even then, I think he wanted the separation to recover from the groin shot. Antonio Luca with the double now. And he's on top. Stanley 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 Not easy to finish arm and guillotine. Someone's been cut open. Bit of blood coming from the... Oh, a lot of blood. Must be from Antonio Luca. On top. Clash of skulls or something that happened earlier on. Based off the reaction of uh, Stanimir Madrov, I think it was a groin strike, but the referee, you know, you can't call an action unless it's definite and you have to, you know, defend yourself at all times. Stanimir Madrov's looking to get that arm out, and he does. He's got Ooh. a Kimura grip. Ooh, it's looking nasty, Steve. That is looking He's nasty. He's got to bring it up the back if he wants to finish it. He's, He's got to try to angle off. Arm. Got a very strong position here. Grimace from the face. Oh, he thought about tapping then. He definitely, Antonio, look. That wasn't actually the worst thing to do for Antonio Luca. The mat prevented the arm from being pushed away. So, although he gave up the mount position, stopped that submission. Stemir just has to has to posture up. He's working to get up into that higher mount position. Try to land some more clear shots down through the guard of Antonio Luca. We got 10 seconds left in this second round. And he's going to try to finish it right here, Stanmir Madrov. Antonio Luca doing really well to stay wow. active there. That was a very quick 10 seconds. He's got a brutal cut. Yeah, he's bleeding a lot from somewhere. Luckily, we've got one of the best cut teams around, Lioness Cut Team. Well, that's what you get here at Battle Arena. I mean, most gyms don't have a really good cut man. So you come to Battle Arena and you think, oh, I've got to try and find someone that can be a cut man. But no, at Battle Arena, we have our own cut team. So we have a, a professional cut person that will come in part of the Lioness cut team will come in and deal with the cut best they can hopefully be able to keep the fight going depending on how bad the cut is um, and you also get your hands wrapped by them as well professional hand wrapping you don't have to have a coach guess how to do it I mean I've certainly been at shows where I've had to wrap people's hands and like I do it like once a year I'm not good at wrapping <laughs> I'm not good at wrapping people's hands it's not a skill that I uh, regularly practice whereas oh the way oh, they the oh. due to a cut must be a very deep cut Excellent work by Stanimir Madrov. Oh, and that round was so close. It was like Antonio Luca was just getting into it. Oh, I'm heartbroken for that, but a really, really good performance there from Stanimir Madrov. I almost think you got to run that back for the title. I think so. That's a good run idea. Run it back for the title, that. please. Or Stanimir, go and claim the title, Stanimir. and then we'll, we'll have Luca fight for it again. But that was a wicked fight. Both men should hold their heads up high. That was very, very good. It's just... You know, just just chances, just like a bit of a freak accident there. But those right hands, they did a lot of damage. And we just need to see Antonio Luca be a little bit more aware of that. He's steaming in with ones and twos, and he was eating the right hands. So, yep. uh, that was an exciting fight, this deal. I really enjoyed that. What nice action from these two warriors? Standing here, Madrov. He's gonna. He's just impressed every time he's come out. And until I think it was a groin strike. Until that point, he looked in control of this fight. And that's interesting. I think. Inverted groin strike, the fight carried on. It's very hard to know when to stop the fight, so it continued. Um, but just fantastic. What is oh, I think they're collecting the scorecards, they can't be getting to the decision, it's got to be finished by it. Yeah, it has to be finished. Yeah, early. As Antonio Luca just came back to life. 
What did you think at home? Did you want to see a third round? Because I definitely did. And I also want to see that fight go back for the title. Please. Give me what I want, Battle Arena. Give us what we want. And we're going to go to Chris with the interview now. But, wow, what a fight. What a, fe what a featherweight division we have here. Just think cuts. They're going to open up. And Antonio Lucas still wanted to fight. That just shows the kind of warrior that he is. We'll be coming up with our first European title on the line in just a few moments. Stick with us. We'll go to Chris for the interview with a very happy and a very, very well-deserving Stan Mirmadra of Kraken MMA. Stan Mir, congratulations on a fantastic victory. Um, so the first round, it, it seemed to be you completely dominating. And then the big, a, a little bit in the second, you got caught with a shot. Was it, did you get hit in the groin or was it stomach shot? What happened? Um, so the first one, he hit me on the groin quickly, uh, a little bit, but it was all right. And then he hit me with a, with a body shot, which really, which really dropped me. But fight was 50-50. I'm not taking anything away from the guy. He did really well. I want to say why I do this. So I do this because I want to inspire people. I want to give strength to people. I want to put myself in that position to go through pain and suffering to acquire knowledge and strength and share it with the rest of the world. Because there's a quote I really like, and it's what you do for yourself in life, you, when you die, you take with you. But what you do for others, you leave behind. If I do this for myself, eventually I'll hit a wall and I'll be like, it's not worth it. But I do it for everybody. And uh, that's why I'm willing to become the best in the world. So the goal is to be the best fighter in the world? Yes, it is my purpose. And uh, I want to have this fire. And uh, I want you to have a dream and like getting a branch and get some from my fire lighter than yours. That's my idea. It's about giving fire to people. So it's all about inspiring other people. It's not about own, your own glory. Nah, nah, nah. My own, my own happiness is connected with giving everybody else. That's an incredible, uh, that's the martial artist, not the fighter. That's incredible. It's a wa life worth living for me. That was absolutely brilliant. What an incredible fight. Congratulations on the hard fought victory and I look forward to calling your fights in the future. Back to the cage.